Hi. There's a new multi-level marketing company launching this weekend, and it's called Lavardi, and it looks an awful lot like every other travel MLM that has ever launched and has appears to have its roots in world ventures, like everything seems to. So this is this event they're having this weekend. Look at who's going to be speaking at it. Um, you might know Marcus Seta if you've been involved in world ventures. This guy has been around forever. And he is known for his uh, repertoire of doing these really strange enactments. Um, one of my personal favorites that he's done is he dresses up as Jim Carrey the mask and he publicly like gropes a woman's breasts on stage during an event and then sits on another um, audience member's uh, woman's lap during the event because this is just part of his character. So take a look at this. I bet you $20 I can make those boobs move without using my hands. I don't believe you can do it. <laughs> oh, you're 20. Ha! This took place at one of those large group awareness trainings. So think of thousands of people, whether you're in Mon 8 or Arbonne or Amway, this happened to be World Ventures. So all these people are in this stadium and they're all thinking that this is hilarious, clapping and laughing. And I'm going to show you the next clip too. <laughs> <laughs> so... Are you guys enjoying the show? Yeah. Oh, Balistrachi bought it. Don't laugh. Yes. He went into the audience and he sat down on some random woman's lap and he has a little squirty gun and he's just out there peacocking around spraying water out of his plastic gun. This is considered like an incredible speaker, like a leader in network marketing. This is how absurd these people are. This is the this is what he's gotten. He's gotten away with this for years. It's revolting. Next up. We're going to see Ray Higdon. This is what he's known for. Watch this. Welcome back to the Survivor Group. Uh, last week we had Dale sharing about uh, the concentration camp that he survived. And, and today we have uh, Karen, who is the survivor of an MLM cult. Can you share more about that? Yes, I'm a, I'm a survivor of a network marketing MLM cult and uh, now I'm I'm helping to save others did they make you do things that you didn't want to do they wanted me to do videos they wanted me to talk to my friends and family and they took money from me every single month so they they hacked your accounts and, and stole your credit card well no I entered that and, and you get you know product and stuff so it was like a scheme so no one made money everyone just paid it there were some people you know made you know, six or seven figures a year. How, how much? Not everyone made that kind of money. So you worked when you wanted to at whatever level, you cancel at any time and some people made a lot of money. Hey, can you do this kind of thing from home? Like, where do I learn more? Yes. So that's the best that he could come up with as his business has continued to crumble like a cracker, um, especially as I began speaking out and exposing everything that was going on within rank makers and 100k inner circle and a number of other whistleblowers have come forward too what you might not know is he made this in response to me and other whistleblowers speaking out against rank makers and particularly him this was the best he could come up with is donning a wig and acting like this if you're in lavardi you can trust that you're in good hands this is the caliber of people that you can expect to be on stage uh, this weekend in florida and lavardi so let's take a closer look at what this thing called Lavardi is. And it's run by someone named DJ Barton. Now, I found this article on BehindMLM.com. And this is a good resource, I suggest. If you're ever feeling like a company might be sketchy and you want to take a closer look at it, type in the person's name, type in the company, and look it in Behind MLM and just see what that article has to say. Or you can just type that into anti and type in anti MLM, especially on YouTube. And there's a really good chance you're going to get some information. So let's just take a look at this. Now, this is run by DJ Barton. Now, fun fact about DJ is that he was also in Rank Makers when I was in Rank Makers. And not only that, he was one of the 100K inner circle coaches. Yes, in the inner circle. He, isn't it such a small world? So even before we get into that article, DJ has a long history of deceiving people and misrepresenting what he's doing. As one of the 100K inner circle coaches, this is when you were in rank makers, you were encouraged to purchase additional inner circle coaching. And it was implied, it was understood 
that all these coaches were consistently making 100, at least $100,000 a year in their network marketing business. This is why people are purchasing additional coaching and they're going to be purchasing these secrets, these blueprints, this template, this one-on-one -on -one encouragement and activities and working on our limiting beliefs and all that nonsense. And none of these coaches were consistently making $100,000 a year. And none of them were even getting paid that much. In fact, my one of my coaches, Jennifer Ryla, who has been quite vocal speaking out, she's even on season three of the Dream Podcast speaking out about her experiences. She was only getting paid like $22 an hour, $22 a session. You could be spending anywhere up from like $800 US a month for two 30 minute phone calls with their coach. Or people were paying even more than that. DJ was one of these coaches. So DJ isn't qualified as a business coach. He's just another one of these network marketing coaches. And not only that, but a lot of people, a lot of clients that were involved in 100K Inner Circle through the Higdon Group weren't told that all of our private conversations with our coaches were recorded. And then a lot of these conversations were then spoken about publicly without our knowledge in these monthly Zoom meetings between the coaches and Ray. So that's just another thing to think about before you decide to invest money or even take a listen to this guy, DJ Barton. But let's take a look at the Behind MLM website, shall we? So it says, further research reveals David Burton being cited as a Lavardi co-founder. And apparently it's hard to find out who else, who are these other co-founders, which is always a red flag. And like many um, dude bros, uh, DJ has the Dude Bro Starter Pack with the Hustle, Grind, Execution prints behind him. He doesn't have the Click Funnel record behind him, and he doesn't have the sign saying Gratitude. But this setup kind of looks a lot like Dustin Mansell from Paid Per Letter, but Dustin is ahead of DJ. DJ has a little bit of catching up to do there. Uh, Dustin has the focus. Dustin has more focus. Then down further down this article, it says circa November 2022, Barton was involved in happy travel. So this is what's really interesting. When you, I want to just kind of back up. When you are in this network marketing coaching cult called Rank Makers, and then you purchase additional expensive coaching through this 100K inner circle. DJ was one of these coaches that had been around forever and would make all these different videos in these inner circle groups and hold these breakout sessions and coach people how they will get to a hundred thousand dollars a year. And what I want to know is like how many multi-level marketing companies he has been in so much so that he realizes now that the best option for him to really make money is not to be a participant, but to open up his own multi-level marketing company. This is somebody who has who knows exactly what's going on and has chosen to now open up his own pyramid scheme and he knows exactly what it's going to do to people so when you are wondering you know how do you determine whether someone you know they're just brainwashed do they really know that they're hurting people that they're defrauding them that they're saying they can attain time and money freedom financial independence that's i think the phrase dj likes to use they do. And DJ is one of them. And we're going to we're going to take a little bit more of a look at this article, compare his past to happy travel. And then we're going to look at his compensation plan, this video that somebody sent me that's up here on YouTube. So it says that he was in happy travel. So that got me to thinking, you know what, I should just take a comparison to between what behind MLM wrote about happy travel. And that's another company that I'm familiar with because there's also ties with that and rank makers as well. But that's, I've, I've talked a little bit about that in another video. And this is a whole rabbit hole if you want to go down and scroll down through my content, right? Back to the beginning to when I first began speaking out and you, your hair will be blown back. Anyway, happy travel. I looked at what their uh, compensation, not their compensation plan, their ranking system is. And then I juxtaposed it with Lavardi's. And wouldn't you know it, that it's exactly the same. It's like it's just been copied and pasted and they've only just changed the words describing what these um, arbitrary numbers mean, like whether they're points or people or memberships. So let's just take a look at this. So on the left-hand side, you can see the original Happy Travel. And this uh, so this is a screenshot taken from behindmlm.com and I put all the links below so you can do your own research. And on the right-hand side, we see Lavardi affiliate ranks. So you can see with happy travel, it says club one, 
sell and maintain three Explorer memberships and generate and maintain five company Explorer memberships. Boogie, boogie on over to Lavardi, rank one instead of club one, sign up as a Lavardi affiliate and generate three personally enrolled points and five qualification points. So instead of an Explorer membership in Lavardi, it's called a personally enrolled point. And instead of an ex another Explorer membership, it's called five qualification points. These numbers are the exact same all the way, all the way down to rank 10. So it's um, club two is rank two, club three, rank three, and club 10. 100 Explorer memberships, 20,000 total downline, 25,000 company Explorer, rank 10. 100 personally enrolled points, 25,000 company qualification points, and 20,000 team qualification points. It's uh, This is just the same iteration again and again. But I find it really interesting now that I know who this, I know who this guy is. It's always the same thing over and over and over again. Now we're going to take a look at this video that he is um, up on YouTube trying to sling this new multi-level marketing company. And I did watch it yesterday and it's great. <laughs> it's annoying. I'm going to put it at 1.25 speed and there's going to be some dry parts, but it's important for you to see this because if you're coming across my content for the first time, or maybe you're like, I haven't heard of multi-level marketing, or maybe you are starting to hear about it. You're starting to hear a lot of people saying like, I've been abused, I've been exploited, I've been defrauded. Why is a grown man donning a purple and pink wig and is so threatened that he doesn't even know the definition of a pyramid scheme or the definition of a destructive commercial cult? Or he does, but... <laughs> Why are grown why are grown men so threatened and having to enact these little skits out on social media? Or like in the case of Mark Asetta, parade around on stage in this uh, large group awareness training, squeezing women's boobs and sitting on their laps, and everybody is clapping, thinking that this is incredible training. I wonder what exactly is going to go on in um, this launch event this weekend. Hey everybody, my name is DJ Barton, one of your co-founders and owners of Lavarti. It's great to see each and every one of you on here. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're all having an amazing day. As you jump on, let the world uh, know where you're tuning in from. <clears throat> um, if you're I'm tuning in from Alberta, DJ. It's nice to see you again. <laughs> it's so interesting that you've decided to open up your own multi-level marketing company. If you're a guest, let all our affiliates say hello and welcome you to this evening to our call. Uh, we've got a lot in store for you tonight. Uh, normally on Tuesday nights, we do a quick presentation. So this is just a heads up for you, DJ. You're going to have a lot of eyeballs on you moving forward. About Lavardi, of what we do, where we're going. And then right at the end, we have a special guest from our uh, marketing app coming on to do a training. So we're very excited about that tonight. And so um, as we dive into it, just, you know, so we're not complete strangers. Um, you know, Lavardi uh, has a, a unique story and I'm very proud of that. So it's entitled Lavardi Presentation with Co-Founder DJ Barton. If somebody's presenting you some kind of opportunity, like, you know, you want to make some extra money or um, you want to save on vacation or something like this, it should not have to go through this MLM pyramid scheme commercial cult template. This is something that he's done for years and he coached his clients to do probably hundreds of them. How many did you coach DJ? How many do you think I've spoken with? How many do you think in the years to come are going to come forward? and talk about their experience with you as their coach. Parroting the same nonsense that all the other coaches did. Shaming, gaslighting all of your clients, telling them that they just need to, uh, what, plug into the Ray Daily, <laughs> get on the free coaching Friday, and ask for some really incredible advice to grow their network marketing business. You should be given the information. They should have a 30 second elevator pitch. They should be able to explain very clearly, succinctly what they're about. But this isn't about an opportunity. This isn't about like you making money. This isn't about you. This is the potential for you to make money. This is a this is for you to get um, financial independence and to screw over all the big travel or, or big banks or whatever industry, whatever multi-level marketing company is going to be disrupting. You have to sit through 
this big presentation about where he just talks about nothing. And it usually, and in all multi-level marketing presentations are like this. They talk about how we started with this dream or this vision and we had all this history, but it just didn't serve us well. And we want to reduce the middleman and we're going to, you know, hold, we have this, these highest ethical standards and integrity, and we're going to do things differently and we're going to disrupt the industry. It's the same thing every time. And this one is no different. So right away, I, I know somebody had asked me in the comments, like, do you know any business opportunity or of, of any opportunities? And without sounding like Jordan Peterson breaking down, we need to know what you mean by the word do and then you. It's not that. It's like the word opportunity, that belief that there is this secret thing that you're going to stumble across the internet and make all this money is a problem. There's this real resistance to just getting work, to getting another job. It's like there's this shame and this weird stigma attached to instead of getting another job, you must um, throw money in this black pit of the Internet and buying all these courses and um, getting this like this sideway introduction to Scientology through Grant Cardone. And then you're going to be 10 xing your business and then you're going to be making as much money as astronauts and surgeons more money than that because this is just an incredible opportunity and then you're going to end up with some framed prints behind you instead of having the iceberg and having something like steadfastness you know we will win no now the the new version of that is like hustle grind <laughs> focus execution i got a laugh so hard uh, Jake and I and Bart got together in June of last year. Uh, we were at a point in our careers where we were pretty frustrated with the company that we were at. Uh, we were overpromised and underdelivered on a time that got me out of bed, fired up and excited. And so Jake approached me back in June and said, why don't we create what we could get excited about? And let's go build a company for the field, from the field, and let's go put our heart and soul into something and really uh, build something with a lot of uniqueness to it. And uh, I didn't say yes right away. It sounded all really good. But I wanted to make sure that, um, you know, for those of you that don't know, if you own a company, there's a lot of undertaking, right? There is that right? Is there is there a lot of overhead? That's why it's so beneficial not to open up your own company. And this is what you also told so many of your clients over the years and what we were all taught in Rank Makers and especially 100K Inner Circle Coaching. It's the lowest cost, lowest overhead way for the average ordinary person to start their own business. Isn't that what we all said? We would recite in unison like a mantra. And now you're going to do the noble thing and take that burden on so then you can give the opportunity for other people not to have that burden where all the money flows up to the top where you're guaranteed to win interesting dj there, there's the uh, immediate uh, upfront cash there's the uh, people that you work directly with but then the ripple effect their kids their family their friends their community and so on and so forth so when you do something like this to this uh to this level of uh, commitment there's a huge undertaking and so we want to make sure it was right for us and right for you and we decided it definitely was and we so if you want to know my opinion on this my opinion is that this is a huge scam this is a cultic fraud you should run uh dj barton has deceived i don't even know thousands of people um just by doing his content in 100k inner circle misrepresenting that people could actually achieve time and money freedom it's well documented and he's been in i don't even know how many multi-level marketing companies and now he's opening up his own so there are so many red flags here. All I need to know is his name and that he's still doing this nonsense. And it's like, run. This is not a legitimate business opportunity. This is another iteration of happy travel. And what you're going to hear now is this whole story about he's talking about um, he's just using the same manipulative tactics that were used on him. And now he's using on other people. And it's just revolting. So Lavardi, it's just the same old. So it's kind of like, I want to know kind of how big it is, because I wonder if it's as big as Transact Card or Finmore or Paid Per Letter. Like where on the scale do you think Lavardi is going to land right now? I wonder how long Lavardi is going to last. Any bets? We just wanted to build a company that we could wake up every day without an alarm clock, where we could be passionate about working with the right people, with the right missions. You're waking up with an alarm clock for sure. There's no way because you are in the middle of this pre-launch. You're going to be doing this event planning. There's going to be all this running around. So the, is it for you? You know, you're giving this implication that people, once they get in as an affiliate or whatever you're going to call them, that they have to rank up 
then they're going to be able to wake up without an alarm clock. This is Amway speak. Nothing has changed. This is old Amway speak, wake up without the alarm clock. You know, when I wake up with the alarm clock is when I'm off work. <laughs> it's great. And the right vision on everything that we're doing. How many of you can relate to something like that? And, you know, everything happens, you know, it doesn't, it happens uh, for us, not to us, right? That's one of the things. Here we go. Here's some of these uh, platitudes, these reductive um, thoughts that are like formed into these reductive statements that are meant to terminate any kind of critical thinking, thought stopping cliches, thought terminating cliches, things happen for us, not to us. So it's like, oh, um, I've been defrauded. Oh, that's happening for you, not to you. Let's make a silver lining or maybe even better yet. When someone shows clear evidence of and documented abuse, and instead people say, well, if you say it's abuse, you're actually the abuser. Well, because that also happened in Rank Makers and it's still happening. You know where else that happened? It also happened in Nexium. Isn't that just wild, DJ? I wonder if it's gonna happen with your company too. But things happen for us, not to us, right? How many messages did you send out, DJ, to people who had left rank makers, maybe left 100K in our circle coaching, maybe left multi-level marketing, and you tried to recruit them using that really schmoogly and stupid strategy that we were taught of saying, oh, hey, I know you're really busy, but can you just help me out and take a look at my post for my new company? I just want your feedback. How many of those did you send out? Oh, you're so slick. Things that I've learned a long time ago and everything happens for a reason. And ultimately the reason was, is we had to step up and build a company that uh, you could be proud of every single day. And so I want to set the stage right now is we are in pre-launch right now. And pre-launch just means it's not perfect, but it, everything's functioning flawlessly at the same time. It's not perfect. And yet it's functioning flawlessly at the same time. That's a lie. It's one or the other DJ. This is a manipulative tactic. I'm just pointing this out for anybody um, watching this. You need to pay attention to what people are saying. So they will contradict themselves all the time. And the red flags are there from the beginning, just as he said that things aren't working, but they're also flawlessly. No, they're not. It just allows us to work out along the kinks along the way. Okay. And just like what happened with Transact Card, it's so good. And now Finmore, it's a totally legitimate business. You know, you don't understand. It's just like Google and Amazon, they had kinks too. You think that if people had have just given up at the beginning, they would be, you know, they're like, well, I wish I had have stayed in with Amazon because I would have been a billionaire by now. It's the exact same thing with Lavardi. <laughs> Things are operating flawlessly. <laughs> and, uh, just to give you an idea, we pre-launched in September. We've cut 309 commission checks in September since then, well over a thousand. We've had over a hundred. Is that supposed to be impressive? Because what does it mean? You've been in pre-launch, which means there's no retail sales, which means everything is occurring inside the pyramid structure, which is mean everybody, the only purchasers are from the distributors or they're signing up for a membership because there really isn't any product. Is that what you're saying? I'm unclear. Maybe you could um, expand on that a bit further. So you've cut commission checks. 309, it's always nice to like throw out these different numbers because that's also what we were taught in Rank Makers and 100K Inner Circle Coaching, right, DJ? Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> 55 rank advancements and uh, things are just running smooth. Rank advancements and there's no retail sales and you're in pre-launch. Definition of a pyramid scheme. Prove me wrong. Especially according to Section 55.1 of Canada's Competition Act. Wouldn't you agree? But guess what? Uh, we always say good is the enemy of great. And uh, it's about to get really great here in about uh, a week from Saturday. And we're launching some pretty exciting things. So the person that invited you on here tonight obviously thought enough of you to take a peek at this before it goes live to the entire. The person who invited you thought that you would be, um, it's like, this is my transactional relationship. I need to get them in here because this is an incredible opportunity. They're going to like make me rank up to the next pool and I'll get 3% of all the money and I'm going to be loaded. Entire <laughs> world. How many of you heard of business? It's not what you know, but who you know, and also being at the right place at the right time. And that, and that could be more true than today. And exactly, because it's the same across all pyramid schemes. It's about getting in at the beginning. The closer you get in at the beginning, the more you're going to be at the top and people will be put underneath you just magically like that. It's just incredible how that happens, isn't it? <laughs> but it's also, and it also operates flawlessly. And it also is about an equal level playing field for all that. This is just about merit. You get paid for performance, just like a sports professional, you guys. All those Karens out there.
complaining about it being a cult. They were never in a concentration camp. What do they know? What do you mean that's an inappropriate thing to say? I'm an incredible multi-level marketing coach. I suddenly believe I'm a prophet. Oh, that's another piece of content. <laughs> Let's get back to Lavardi. And so look at this as the garage meeting when Microsoft or Apple started or Google, they're sitting on the, you know, the, the uh, five gallon buckets talking about a dream, a goal and a vision, right? That's kind of where we are. We're a little bit past that. We know exactly where our goal driven, our, our dream and vision is today. Here's a cult playbook. They all say it's every multi-level marketing company says the exact same thing. We're just like Amazon and Google or Microsoft. And you're sitting around in the garage, upside down, five gallon pails, like we're in this together. We need to work through the kinks. Transact card pulled this same nonsense. And look at what happened with them. Belly up. What happened with World Ventures? His shirt is like a lot like the World Ventures logo, logo too. I wonder if Happy Travel, I wonder if it's like Lavardi Happy Travel, world ventures or if there was like another thing involved in between world ventures and happy travel it was like dream trips or secret whatever's going on with all this stuff they're all the same and they're all the same people too they all move around so gross and it's already been fully functional now it's about to scale and so just understand where we're oh, yeah so you're not like amazon or google every multi-level marketing company says that in in order to get you so hyped to abandon looking at what reality is right in front of you. So you, the, he says that there's going to be some kinks to work out and it's also operating flawlessly. So then you rationalize it in your mind. Well, this is just like starting up with Amazon or Google or Microsoft. So I need to be like, act like an entrepreneur. They all say the same thing. This is just, it's so effective that they haven't needed to tweak it at all. That's why they all sound like mindless robots. They just say the same thing over and over and over again. It's just wild to see this. We're at on that. And, and we could have picked any product in the game. Like, it, would you agree that if you have the right systems, the right tools? I would agree, DJ, because it's not about the product. It's just about uh, you're the product. The um, dream of attaining financial freedom is the product. And that's what a pyramid scheme is. That is what more accurately put what multi-level marketing is, is the most accurate term is called cultic fraud. Because people are brought in, they're recruited in, or as we'll see later in the video, you don't even like to use the word recruited, sponsor, or enroll. You just like to say introduce, which is an outright lie. Maybe you should put the word introduce with um, whether it's a verb, adjective, or noun behind you to help you with that definition. Because people aren't ranking up just because they're introducing people to Lavardi. They need to recruit them. And not only recruit them, those people need to enroll as whatever level of coach and to continue to maintain monthly membership payments in order for these people to rank up. It's not just a matter of introduction. You can't get away with this anymore. There's more and more people speaking out and there's more and more scrutiny that will continue, especially on your company now. The right community, the right culture, the right leadership, anything is possible. Would you guys agree with that statement? And so we started this company with the end in mind where we started with those tools and systems and resources and culture and community and all the things and we started building it coming back to where we are today. And when you have those things in place, truthfully, you can put in, you can plug in any product service. into Exactly. And that's what multi-level marketing is like going all the way back to Neutralite and then Amway. It doesn't matter what you're selling because it's the cheese in the mouse trap, like Robert Fitzpatrick so eloquently says. Whatever you're selling, these stupid memberships and this um, discounts of travel, it's never been done. Oh my, I've never heard of anything like this. Wow, thank God. Lavardi has just landed on the scene in 2024. Holy smokes. <laughs> it could be skincare. It could be shampoo. It could be supplements. It, you're right. It doesn't matter because it's just a pyramid scheme. Strip it all away. A pyramid scheme is a pyramid scheme is a pyramid scheme. And after all these years, you still don't know the definition of a pyramid scheme, but you're using these same bumper sticker reductions to try to counteract people educating others about it. What are you going to say? Your job is like a pyramid scheme. Have you even read Canada's Competition Act? You should. Have you looked at the cost, the two pronged cost cut rule in your country, in the U.S.? Or are you going to say something like you can't you can't be a janitor at Walmart and then become a CEO? That has nothing to do with the definition of a pyramid scheme. That's just meant to keep people within, but you probably already know that. But I know more and more of uh, people coming across anti-MLM content, this might be their first time listening to this and being like, wow, you're right. 
I noticed that every single multi-level marketing company that I've been involved with in, or maybe I'm looking at trainings like from this DJ Barton, he's not making it clear at all. He's just saying these things that I've learned are called thought stopping cliches. It's meant to quell any questioning or critical thinking. He doesn't really know anything. This opportunity and it can become immensely successful, but we didn't want to just pick any product in the sun. You could buy that on Amazon. What we wanted to do is we wanted to be a- Is what has already been done before <laughs> with happy travel, which I was a representative of, but then I realized, you know what? Darn tootin', I can make more money opening up my own MLM. That's what I'm gonna do. We wanted to create a product or an environment where we never wanna leave it, truthfully. How many of you, when you're the most happiest, if you think, okay, to myself- Is that what you said when you were in happy travel? What about when you were a coach in Rank Makers? Are you still a coach in Rank Makers? Can you imagine? Are you still a 100K inner circle coach? What's going on there? You guys say a prayer now before every meeting? You gotta be like, oh, hail the prophet Ray. Does he get like divine? He said he was getting divine instructions like every minute of every day. <laughs> and then his other buddy can raise people from the dead. Who's that guy that was at uh, Faith Over Fear Live? Who was that guy, DJ? Where he, they've said that um, they've raised 11 people from the dead. That's totally believable. The fuck is going on? Are you going to be doing that too in Lavardi? Otherwise, I don't want in. <laughs> I want to see a miracle, man. <laughs> so, when am I the most happiest in life? Is it when I'm at my job in my cubicle, listening to people complain, or is it spend this is there's only two options here. So it, you're in a job and you're in a cubicle and you listen to people complain. That is all jobs. All jobs are like that, or you are in Lavardi. That's it or it's like multi-level marketing. That's the only option. So this is such a stupid and ridiculous thing to say because it's just inaccurate. There are lots of, I know my job, I love my job and I'm not in a cubicle and I don't listen to people complain. So I don't know, but this is a tactic. This is like this really disgusting sales tactic. There's only two options. So like, what do you want to do in a cube? Who are in these cubicles all the time? You can tell he hasn't had a real job in years. Spending time with your spouse, your kids, your significant other, your friends, your family, traveling, putting your toes in the sand around the world. I do that all the time. I have it all now. It's incredible what happens. The freedom that opens up once you have a job. The money that you make, it's just incredible to me. The money, the time off, the paid time off, the benefits, the paid training. I don't have to pay for training. World. Isn't that when you're the most happiest? Because I know that's when I'm the most happiest. And so he's doing that thing. Wouldn't you agree? Isn't that the most um, happiest you are? So it's, he believes that the more times he gets you to say yes, the, the easier it will be for you to say yes to this opportunity and sign up immediately after this call or after this video and get back with the person that, you know, sent you here because they thought so much of you. So it, this is so heavy handed and so obvious. You need to really up your game, DJ, because this is unimpressive. Wouldn't you agree? I know it feels like that for me. Doesn't it feel like that for you? <laughs> and so we wanted to create a product around that. And I, I'm sure you guys agree because I talk to people all the time. Ever since COVID, people have a new outlook on life. They realize what freedom really is. Would you guys agree with that? And they how many times does he say, would you agree with that? They realized when they got their life taken away from them for a period of time, they didn't want to ever have to be in that situation again. Oddly enough, that's kind of like what happened with me waking up from multi-level marketing and becoming a whistleblower of uh, rank makers <laughs> and then speaking out and becoming an anti-MLM advocate. I realized um, how much my time and my freedom was taken away from me and how I was used and how I was defrauded and how thousands of people were. And I decided... I'm not going to fucking take it anymore. I'm going to actually do something about it. I'm going to use everything that I learned when I was in multi-level marketing and I'm going to expose it and I'm going to draw on who I was before I got into this mess, which is somebody who is stubborn and disciplined as fuck. That was almost the most legalized way of prison that we've ever been through without our control. And so just kind of putting that into perspective is we wanted to create a vehicle for people that, uh, you know, the two biggest obstacles that people have or excuses uh, to not traveling more is either A, I don't have the time or B, I don't have the money. And so we so it's reasons, DJ. People don't have the time and they don't have the money. Yeah. And that's a valid reason. It's not an excuse. It's not, well, it happens for you and not to you. It's like your privilege is showing there, DJ. 
your ignorance is showing too. I wanted to create a company to solve both those problems to give you more money. And how is that going to solve problems? People get to enroll at $200 at the Lux level and then pay another, what, $100? No, no, it's $200 a month to then they're going to be spending $2,400 a year to you, to your company for what? Then they're going to get travel. They could just save $200 a month and then they could go $2,400 vacation. Holy fuck. You could do a lot of other, you could do staycations, just go around local, do some things for a lot less than $2,400 in more time so you can do the things you like how many of you like that idea and just so you know it is possible because we're already making it happen every single day which we're very excited about so we pick travel how many of you would agree that whenever there's a disruption a movement a change in an, in an industry on the other side of that change is opportunity would you guys agree with that and, and that's really what we've done because if you let me just identify wow you should have got someone else to do your presentation because this is deplorable. Maybe your event, maybe your amazing speakers will help like pull you up by your bootstraps. Maybe make this more compelling. It's just too much, DJ. It's just too desperate. And you know what they say about desperation? It reeks like cheap perfume. By some relatabilities for you. How many of you would agree that uh, Netflix disrupted Blockbuster video? Would you guys agree with that in Hollywood video? Does it already no, he uses this in his um in his uh marketing. He calls it like the Netflix of travel. He he it, this is in that um behind MLM article. He loves to call it this. The Netflix of travel. So th th that's what he likes to use. How many would you agree? Would you agree? How many of you would agree? Would you agree? Oh my god. Are you still looking for your local blockbuster? I don't think so, right? So the truth is you've looking for a long time, right? Paul, Paul is still looking. And so at the end of the day, but if you look at what uh, Uber did to taxi, how many of you guys feel like that was a pretty big disruption? And then, you know, then other companies came around following that. But then think about the music industry. I mean, how what does this have to do with travel and me signing up? So you, you're talking about, you've said Microsoft, Google. I don't know if you've said Amazon, but you did say Microsoft for sure. And you've said Uber and um, like, what does this have to do with travel? Oh, I know, because this is like a scam. This is what scammers like to do. They like to obfuscate until they get you to the very end of this 30 minute presentation before you even find out what in the hell is going on. And even when he's explaining what is going on with all these pools and these ranks, it's it's a mess. So there's going to be people that are watching this. You're like, you don't understand. This isn't a scam because I make money. What do you think a definition of a scam is? Or what do you think a scam looks like? Do you think that a scam means nobody makes any money? that there's only one person that makes money. What do you, do you think that a scam could mean that a number of people make a lot of money and a vast majority of people lose money? And because you happen to be in the group of people that are making a lot of money, you feel entitled to that. Therefore, that means it's not a scam. You don't even know the definition of a pyramid scheme. You don't even know how multi-level marketing got started. And you're repeating these thought-stopping cliches over and over and over again, thinking like, it's real because I have money. It's real because I went on this trip. It's real because I have these friends. All of those things can be true. You can be making money. You can be enjoying the trips. You can have really good friends and believe you're part of a community. And you're also in a scam. And that's something that right now, I know a lot of people are starting to lean into that and being like, wait, what? That makes me really uncomfortable. What does that mean? You're you're like you're agreeing that these products and this travel experience can be amazing, and and you're also saying that this could be a scam. I don't understand. Maybe I should listen a little bit more. Good. I'm glad that you're still here. How many of you used to go to Circuit City like I did with my allowance money, my extra cash to go buy that CD, that single CD uh, with a handful of songs on it? Now you got it all at the palm of your hands. We were just listening to Spotify. When we all came on here and so there's those so are lavardi is like uber microsoft um circuit city and spotify now wow it's just incredible lavardi no the world has never even seen anything like lavardi i wonder if you're gonna get a bank card too i think you should do that i think that would be amazing like a debit card oh <gasps> what a great idea it could be like purple and just say like hustle grind execution on it hge that would be so rad dj oh my god big movements and impacts and there hasn't really been a huge disruption in the travel industry there was a minor really not with world ventures not when it went then to like what dream trips and then secret and then happy travel there hasn't been a huge disruption you're the huge disruption 
<laughs> is Lavardi? I think Lavardi is like is like this. It's not it's not even the ripple. It's the one dandelion seed that gets blown off and it's still floating in the wind and it just doesn't land. And when it eventually lands, it doesn't even make a ripple. That's Lavardi. That's Lavardi's disruption of the travel industry. <laughs> one years ago how many of you remember when we used to primarily all go into a brick and mortar type of a location and buy travel from a travel agent and then we would go on a vacation you guys remember those days and now we were self-taught how to book our own travel on companies like expedia booking.com priceline ogata orbits the list goes on right and we they taught us how to be their product and they said hey let's get the are you teaching us to be your product dj it's so funny how you're turning this all around and it's like only in multi-level marketing do they say brick and mortar like that you can just tell you're like, oh, you're in multi-level marketing. <laughs> These are those keywords, you know? Imagine like you're just talking to some random person. He's like, remember those days when we'd go into a brick and mortar? <laughs> uh, what MLM are you with, sir? Oh, I'm starting my own MLM company. It's called Lavardi. It's going to disrupt the industry. It's like, I've heard enough. <laughs> they like crank up Soundgarden in the background as they're like driving around. It's like some guy like taking him to his event in Florida. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> These people to book their own travel Let's get rid of the overhead and let's keep more money than we even had before. Think about that business model. For them, it was great. For us, not so Why is it not great for you? For them, it's great. It's great for us too. People save a lot of money. It's very easy to make um, online, reserva re online reservations. My mom's even done it. My parents have done it. And they were born in the 40s and they figured it out. So how is it not good? I know. Oh, because you need to insert yourself as the middleman by calling all these other companies that we're doing actually direct business with, with, which is actually more like direct sales than the bullshit that you're trying to peddle. <laughs> you're going to be, oh, we're reducing the middleman by in injecting ourselves as the media intermediary between Travelocity and Expedia and Orbitz. We're going to, we're going to show all those people. Ooh, we're going to show all those people that are taking all this money. It's not that good for, no, it's not that good for the people that are going to get enrolled. No, no, wait, introduced into this. I got to use your correct terminology. Also how you like to describe this as a, what, a one-legged jet stream. It's definitely not pyramid scheme. It's a one-legged jet stream. Do I have that right? I guess we're going to get to that still. Oh, great. And so what we wanted to do is figure out how to disrupt that industry. It's called the OTA, the online travel agency. If you don't know this, they did $30 billion in revenue last year. How many, how many think that's a pretty good number? I didn't say M, I said B um, for billions. Okay. And so one of the things we want to do is going, okay, how can we get some of that 30 B and let's reduce the price. Imagine he has his this little spot set up in his house and he's got his purple light, which I think it kind of looks cool. But and he has his computer set up and he's like, OK, whoever he's living with, he's like, all right, I'm going to go uh, sit down. I got to make my video. And this is what he does. This is like the CEO. This is like I'm such I'm a co-founder of this this business and I'm going to play at being a businessman. I'm going to play at being an ethical businessman because this is what it looks like. This is exactly what it was like when Amazon and Google started up. <laughs> if it had started up these days, you guys, this is exactly what it would have looked like. So we can afford to go on vacation, but how can we get some of that as income by promoting an idea so we can create residual income so we can go on residual vacations? And that's really- Residual income and residual vacations. I think you've messed up your um, definitions of words there, bud. <laughs> let's go on residual uh, vacations residual vacations they just happen all the time Re reoccurring i don't even have to do anything i'm just always on vacation <laughs> residually <laughs> what this whole thing came about and that's what we did and then we're disrupting a whole nother industry nobody's gonna take you seriously dj i know i'm not which is the gig economy industry how many of you at least know five people that have a side hustle today because how many of people do you know that are driving uber lyft doordash getting there you know driving for amazon maybe they're getting their insurance license mortgage license real estate license financial planning license to create some type of a side hustle it's because that's what people need to do because they can't afford so what they have to do is they got to sign up in multi-level marketing because this is the number one way for the average ordinary person to start a legitimate home-based business and why not start with lavardi where they're going to get paid in residual income and take residual vacations mic drop moment dj barton it's it's great it's at an all-time high and so one of the things we also wanted to solve like was that failure rate. How many of you? Oh, Danude. Is it Danude or Dude? Dude, 
Lombardi Travel! <laughs> we have Marcus Senna coming out on stage. He's going to be dressed as Jim Carrey. Do we ever have any nubile young women with a heaving bosom for him to touch and pay you $20? <laughs> Come up to the stage. You know people that tried something that have more than the capability to be successful, but for whatever reason, they weren't. And so a lot of that has to do with systems, which we're going to talk about. But let me do this. Let me dive in. Let me show you what our product looks like real quick. Um, give me one quick second here. Let me know if you guys can see my screen. I'm pretty confident you can. So the company. Oh, yeah. He explains why it's Lavardi. This is so fabulous. It's so stupid. Okay, take a guess. What do you think Lavardi stands for? So I was confused because a lot of these companies, they have to have umlaut. Umlaut. I'm saying it wrong, but you know what I mean? The two dots above a vowel. <laughs> So just take the next best thing, the next most stupidest, obvious thing. If you were a kid, say you were four years old and you're like, I'm going to make a multi-level marketing company. And you're like, well, I know what I'll name it. I have my favorite word. What would I do with that word to make it really clever? <laughs> Maybe some of you have already caught on to what this is going to be. The company that I get to share with you tonight <laughs> is called Lavarti. Uh, Lavarti is just, if you look from right to left, uh, it's I travel backwards and that, it's just something that we're excited about is traveling and saving time and enjoying it with the people we care about the most. Now, right now we have five levels of membership from coach to premium to first class leisure to RX and to Lux. Okay. And each of those. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. It's I travel backwards. Okay. Let's just take this uh, up a little bit. So we got five different product packs that you can sign up with. Oh, oops, I'm not talking about Monate, but it's the exact same thing. Instead of getting five different product packs to choose from in an ever increasing amount of discounts and value, and you know, you only get this thing for a one time only. No, we have memberships. You're going to purchase different memberships and he's going to try to, you're going to see it's so gross how he's like, well, if you just want to get in and just do the most basic thing, or if you want to condense time and just like rocket your business, get the most expensive one. And what does it offer? It offers a whole bunch of nothing. Look at this stuff. This is their little logo. Travel Suite. What, what the fuck is Travel Suite? 110% price match. Vacation rentals. Daily deals. US only. Flight insurance. Fast pass. Oh, whatever. I travel getaway. I'm going to. Oh, I travel and I genius. <laughs> okay. Let's see what he has to say. No, no I'm going to go over here instead. Have an activation fee. Uh, from 100 to 150 or 200 dollars, you can see that in the columns it's not pay to play for a pyramid scheme you guys this is called an activation fee you just pay it once and it's to activate you starting into this company it's it's not it's definitely not pay to play it's called activation and then each one of them have a monthly membership one thing i want to point out on this slide the only thing that would be due today if you decide to become a member is the activation fee 30 days from today is when you would start paying your monthly membership fee. So the activation fee includes your first month membership, all right? Now, starting from left to right at Coach, we have a travel suite. So what is travel suite? Anything that you can book on Travelocity is in the travel suite. Now, 80% of the time, we will always be the best online rates. Now, we can't win 100% of the time. Most people can't. It's impossible in any industry. But what we did for you is we created 110% price match. 80% of the time we're going to be right. No, not everybody can be right all the time because that's just absolutely ridiculous. But when we're wrong, oh, we're going to give you 110% price match. And you had what, 309 checks and then a thousand people. It's like, well, let's just throw out a whole bunch of numbers here. Well, you're just like the scraping the bottom of the barrel out of everything that you've been taught over the years and have like coached your 100K inner, like, inner circle co like coaching clients to do. And this is the best you can come up with all those live videos you did all these years, and this is your presentation. <laughs> DJ, fuck man, you gotta do better. Guarantee. What that means is if you book a hotel, a cruise, or a flight through your Lavardi booking engine, and you go randomly find it on somewhere on a public website, anywhere else, the exact same booking, the same room, the same date, same dates, the same view, the same everything, the same description, prepay versus not, we will give you 110% of the difference. So you get Well, that ensures that nobody will ever get it because it can't possibly be the exact same thing. How are you going to know it's the exact same room, the exact same description? It might be a slightly different description. What if it's in a different language? What if somebody is, yeah. I mean, there's so many, there's so many what ifs, you know, with this thing. I, I think they would like winkle their way out, no problem. That's what I think. Just like looking at his uh, DJ's track record of integrity. 
get peace of mind when you book through Lovarty. Either A, you're going to get the best price, or B, you're actually going to make money on your booking, one or the other, which I think is a great deal. Now, premium gives you everything that's in coach, but in addition, you get access to vacation rentals, daily deals. How many of you shop on a weekly, monthly basis or dine out or like entertainment, like Top Golf, bowling, movies, Parkins Theater, things like that? Anything you do in your community that's a name brand franchise is on this daily deal site, all right, where you can get five. Can you imagine? This sounds like Z Club. This sounds like the dying, wheezing version that was like this bloated, weird sea creature that like rolled up like on the beach and it just like it's filled with gases and it's start it's about to explode and it's like <laughs> daily deal like if if it's a name brand franchise and you're like what if people are going to log into this and be like oh my god i just saved five percent on top golf <laughs> thank god i spend a hundred dollars a month through lavardi <laughs> this has changed my life <laughs> What a deal. Holy smokes. I want get ones, $5 off, $10 off, $30 off, percentages off on things you do every single day. In addition to that, you get flight insurance. Now, first class. Five, 10, $15 off on things that you do every single day. See, this is, they, they say these things and it doesn't make any sense. Every sentence you can just pause and be like, what the fuck is he talking about? It doesn't make any sense. You're not saving five, 10, $15 on everything you do every day. What are you doing every day? Those people. You have like, you know, you go, you go to work, maybe you're going to go out, going to go out for a walk, going to go watch some Netflix, then you're going to relax, maybe have a cat on your lap, maybe you're going to go out for a second workout, and then you're, you're just going to chill with your family and your friends. It's this like, how are you saving five, 10, $15 every day? How, how, are the, how, many, how much money are people spending every single day? This doesn't even make any sense. That's leisure. Again, you get everything that's coaching premium. But then this is really neat because this is a built-in savings account for fun. How many of you do your best to budget? A built-in savings account for fun. Why wouldn't they just have their own savings account? Every single month or year to go. Oh, I know. It's because it's a pyramid scheme, right? That's what I think. That, that's what I think. At least on one amazing vacation every single year. And, and the problem is most people try to budget, but then they have a, an O-ish thing come up where they need tires or an oil change or someone needs brown money and there goes your travel savings account well here's what's neat with this so instead of actually having an emergency savings account which so many financial advisors like counsel you on like legitimate financial advisors not primerica not other multi-level marketing um brainwashed participants will advise you to do but people who do this for a living and they will advise you to have an emergency savings account instead of doing that ignore the emergency savings account give your money to us this multi-level marketing company we'll be your emergency account this is gross if you pay your members oh, you're that desperate for money dj that you're going to resort to doing this kind of shit. well done well everybody can choose the path they want to walk for 12 consecutive months we will we will pay for your hotel your resort fees and your taxes, and we will send you on a vacation at the end of 12 months. You get to pick from one of 3,000 locations anywhere around the world. You can drive to it here in the United States. You can wow. I wonder how that's going to roll out. That sounds like a lot of promises, and I wonder how many times you've already um, helped people out with this since it's already been in pre-launch pre since September 2023. I bet you there'll be lots of stipulations where this never actually comes into practice because this could have all be bypassed if people just set like set up another account and just put money and automatically just deposit it every month just you can fly internationally whatever the case might be and then as far as first class rx goes fly internationally there's this thing called an airplane and there's this whole realm called europe in order to get there from the united states you need to fly internationally <laughs> this is lavardi we're international jet setters um, for those of you that are in the pharmaceutical drugs, the average American spends $1,300 a year on pharmaceutical drugs. Imagine having access to over 800 of pharmaceutical drugs, 90% of the most used in America at zero cost above and beyond your membership uh, with what we do. That's what we have access to. You can actually go to LavartiRx.com and learn all about that and see if your meds are on there as well. And then first class. So what 
does this have to do with travel? They've just like put in this weird prescription pharmaceutical drugs thing. So instead of maybe saving $150 a month, maybe you're already um, spending $1,300 um, a year on pharmaceutical drugs. So maybe you have, and so now you're supposed to spend $150 a month because by paying that, he's implying you're gonna actually be paying less than $1,300 a year because they have 800 drugs that it, and it's 90% of the most common ones. I think Finmore has a telemedicine bundle going on too. Maybe you should take a look at Finmore. I think there might be some really good deals going on now. It's only $199 to get in. They, you may or may not get a card. <laughs> There's a lot of drama though going on over there. You might want to be interested in that. I don't know about this uh, um, Lavardi. Flux, you get everything that we just mentioned. It's everything that you can imagine. And that's our membership. It's, it's everything you can imagine. You haven't even launched yet. This hasn't even been proven. There's kinks in it, but it's also operating flawlessly. Really exciting. We have tons of people getting a tremendous amount of savings. Hi, my name is DJ Barton. I'm with the Higdon Group. I've been a 100K inner circle coach since blah, 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 blah. I can help you explode your network marketing business. Sign up with me today. Oh, whoops. You haven't consistently made $100,000 a year. Neither have all the other coaches either. Benefits and value on what we currently have. Now, I will tell you, a week from Saturday, we are going to go from 1.0 Lavardi and pre-launch to 2.0 full launch, where we're actually enhancing to a, a more advanced, robust booking engine. That will also give you access. We haven't launched the booking engine, but we're going to launch another one. We haven't even launched. It's 1.0. But now when we launch, it's going to be 2.0. This sounds like more and more like transact card. Says <laughs> yeah. the condo weeks, unused timeshare inventory, and very high end uh, luxury Airbnb type properties, multi million dollar states, and even more benefits and savings and value. Very exciting stuff. And then we're also rolling out some curated trips and retreats. And we're launching some other amazing things as well at our event. So that's what we have going on right we're now. We're going to be launching them. Just trust us. We're going to be launching. It's going to be amazing. It's going to have everything that you can imagine. And people are like, just give me, oh, I, I love it. I love the vision. I think this is amazing. Take my money. And they're like, what did you just sign up for? I have no idea. <laughs> but it's going to be amazing. I'm going to be in Florida at the launch event. No one left behind. 2024. Now, I'm going to switch gears for, the, I know a lot of people, when we are in a position of pre-launch, most people that are on here tonight, I'm not saying everybody, but I'm saying most people are on. Oh my God, not the fucking Higdon way of doing this. Are you kidding me? I'm not saying everyone, most people will, and some people won't. Now, most people here, oh my God, <laughs> it's all the same shit. Here because they're visionaries. They're leaders, they're early adapters. Oh my God, DJ, are you gonna wear a purple and uh, like a purple, pink and teal wig? Maybe react to this video. You wanna call me a Karen? I'd love to hear your definition of a destructive commercial cult. And especially your definition of a pyramid scheme, please. Please make some reels. Maybe make some TikToks too, especially if you're selling multi-level marketing, um, trying to recruit people on multi-level marketing because that goes against TikTok's community guidelines. It's under their frauds and scams title like heading can you imagine that isn't that wild but just keep telling your uh, participants to keep posting on there it's totally okay they want to get in early on opportunity is there any of those people on here that i may have mentioned i just want to make sure that they sent me the right zoom link but i'm pretty sure that would be the majority of you guys that are on here i see it coming in now perfect so let's talk about this because here's what i can tell you when we built this compensation plan i said it earlier but we truly did build this for the field from the field we truly just copied and pasted this from happy travel <laughs> that's all we did it was so easy we just truly built this from the field this guy i gotta listen to his excuse perspective my partner says at times dj you gotta pull back on building for the field from the field because you're gonna make us go broke because i want to pour out as much oh more. really you're gonna make us go broke because you're just so generous you're giving so much just like happy travel gave you you decided that they gave you so much that you would just like copy and paste their exact compensation structure or something that looks pretty damn close like it to just open up your own MLM. Wow, your business partners are like, oh, DJ, you're just going crazy. Ooh, our manager has gone away. Mattress, mattress saves you money. <laughs> our manager's away. Everything's on 75% discount. Come in today. Money to us. 
and I say us because I'm building just like you in our own company um, that I possibly can. And so what we did is we created three income streams, a direct commission with residual income. I'll break it down. Um, I'll spend a little bit extra time on the revenue pools because this residual income. This is what I need you to understand what differentiates us from anything else out there in the industry. And then our check match place. So let me dive into this real quick. Um, and you, you don't even have to take pictures. I can send you a link to this or someone can drop it in the chat who has access to this presentation. We can send this directly to you guys. But um, let me break down the direct referral pay first. The first month is real. For each person, the activation you recruit, you get paid a nice hefty commission on that. But the bulk of it doesn't actually get paid to you, unlike direct sales. 52% uh, of that activation fee actually rolls up to your upline, your upline's upline, your upline's up all the way into the pockets of DJ. Simple. Uh, all the activation fees, the 100, the 150, or the 200, you get as an affiliate of our company. If you sign me up and I paid any of those affiliate fees, you are going to get 48, or not affiliate fees, activation fee, excuse me you're gonna make 48% of the activation fee the first month. And then we're gonna pay you 10% residual income starting month two and beyond for life of the customer, all right? Now today we have five different levels of membership. You see them on the right side. We gamified our comp plan, okay? So this is important. What happens to the other 90%? Oh, well, it goes up to the top of the pyramid scheme. <laughs> for you to understand is coach is worth one point, premium is worth two points, First class RX and leisure. Here we go. We gamify it because we got to make a game of it because this will help you. This sounds like really cool. This is like what business people do. When I'm cosplaying as a businessman and I was cosplaying as a network marketing coach and I'm like pretending to make a over a hundred thousand dollars a year and make live videos in this really culty as fuck coaching group called Rank Makers. I'm going to gamify it. That's what we do in Lavardi. We gamify things. People are points. Then you can like position the points in your pipeline and it's all about prospecting. And this is pay for performance. Let's use as many P's as we can. Wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you agree, DJ? <laughs> oh God, we got to get through this thing. Oh my God. For three points and first class is four points. Very important for you to understand because the, the next part of our compensation plan, which is our revenue share model, is all based on points, not just customers. Because some customers could be worth four points, some could be worth one point, depending on- Some can be worth two. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato more. Now there's some customers that can be worth two points, some are three, some are four points. Now this is really important for you to understand. Do you understand this? Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> It's always the same thing, just nonsense, nonsense, 30 minutes of nonsense. What level of membership? So if you want to condense time, you're going to probably sell the larger pack. If you want to take, you know, get. If you want to condense time, you want to sell the larger pack. This is also a manipulative tactic. So what he's implying is that you're going to attain financial freedom, financial independence. If you purchase the biggest product pack, that's spending $200 for an activation fee and $200 a month. So for one year, that's $2,600. If you want to condense time. So you can say, well, I never said anything, but I think, you know what, the FTC, Canada's Anti Fraud Center, and truthandadvertising.org would beg to differ with you, DJ, because this is, it's no longer enough just to start throwing these things out and be like, well, I never actually said anything because everybody's caught on to this. There's been enough people that have left these commercial cults and have began speaking out, filing reports, logging evidence like this getting it on the record exactly what you're saying and exposing it to the world to prevent other people from being recruited and scammed and defrauded and exploited and then blamed for it. And then they think they, they're too afraid and ashamed and intimidated and harassed to even speak out or to report it. If they're as slow as you want, you're going to sell the most basic pack. But here's what I want. If you want to go as slow as you want, then you sell the most basic pack. So that's how he's framing this. So without you, you know, when you're, if you're already watching this and you're this far into this video, you're an actual, you're actually thinking about joining this. There's a good chance this is going to work on you. Other people that already know that these are scams, they're going to be like, they'd already they'd be like, this is bullshit. They're not even going to watch it. But for the people that are, this is an, this is, an, it's important for you to see what he's doing here. So he's trying to downplay you getting in at the cheapest level because that's actually, you're gonna go slow. You're going to, it's gonna take you so much longer to reach the top of your compensation plan and make all the big bucks. If you wanna condense time, spend more money. All this is, is about getting you to give him more money. That's all this is about. 
And you're going to be modeling this behavior and recruiting others, doing the exact same thing without even realizing what you're doing. And then you got to reconcile this when you exit, you know, you think, oh my God, I didn't know. I just thought I was part of this incredible business opportunity. I love the people. I love the travel. There were some legitimate great things about it. Yes. And, and all of those things can be true. And you are also part of a scam. That's what a lot of people are going to say. I think. I don't understand. This <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> I don't think I know. This is important. The company took 33% of the gross revenue. And for those of you that don't know gross and net, gross is off the top before any expenses. It's the biggest number. What's the difference between expense and um, income, DJ? Do you train any of your 100K inner circle coaching clients on just tracking their income and their expenses? And then how it's so important for them to get to all of Rank Maker's events, their live events each year, and that it's an actual investment to just keep purchasing like more courses, more challenges they had. Don't count that as an expense. Did you ever do a training ever in any network marketing company to your downline or any of the clients that you've had, the thousands of people that you've um, coached online, because that's the reach that you've had about just simply tracking their income and expenses. As a business coach, I would think that would be the very first thing that you'd teach people. It's quite a simple business practice and it's quite obvious. I'm just curious. Wouldn't you agree that that might be something quite important? I think we could all agree on that. So we took 33% of the gross revenue and we pay it back to you. So you get paid like an owner without being an owner. How many of you like that idea? Like literally you get paid just like we do. And you, you didn't put up the investment to get this thing going. That's a powerful statement. I want you guys. They get paid like you do. Is that right? I don't think that's true. Look at this. Look on the left side of your screen. Do you see how it says oh, there's 11 pools? I know it says 10, but there's a two plus. We have a fast start bonus where if you hit pool two in your first 30 days. So he has a two plus. I mean, look at this. this is so stupid. One, two, two plus. Like you just, it's just the stupidest shit in every multi-level marketing company. You can't, we got to gamify it. We got to call, we got to have points. It's a pool party. Woohoo! One, two, two plus three. <laughs> just stop. Just, just get a job. If you sign up today and within 30 days you qualify for pool two, we're going to put you in a bonus pool called two plus. I believe this will be one of the highest paid pools out in the years to come. And you'll learn more about that at our convention next week. And so what we did is we put, we took that 33%, we divided it by 11 pools. So we put 3% in each pool, put a 3% in the chat, if you hear me. And that's, and then what we do is we take that 3% and we divide it by however many people qualified to be in that pool for that month. Very simple to understand. So there's three qualifications, but I'm going to talk about the first one first. Um, the first qualification is personally enrolled points. Now, one thing I want you to hear is your personal sale counts towards your personal enrolled points. In addition. Wow. No way. Really? Can I purchase my rank like every multi-level marketing company? No shit. How revolutionary. This is going to disrupt the entire multi-level marketing industry. My personal purchases can be used to rank up. <laughs> wow. To any personal customers or customers and affiliates that you get. That's a huge thing for you to understand. So if you come in at our first class leisure, which is valued at three points, or our Lux, which is valued at four points, you're already personally enrolled points qualified for pool one. Fuck, he's excited there. He's got his little thing. He's just like, eh, the little cursor. It's like, ooh, just zinging around there. You got to understand this. This is so important. Better make this big. Got to drive his point home. And here. just know this. There's no company that I'm aware of in the world where you could get a revenue share without being a top producer. I just don't know where it's at where you can literally get into pool one by just becoming- Oh my God, DJ, nobody cares. This is bullshit. This is, this is absurd. How many people, how many of your clients have you disclosed that you recorded their personal coaching conversations with you with, and that they didn't know, they didn't have, they didn't give their consent. Have you even talked about that? This is going to come out in the years to come. I'm not stopping all the, you know how many interviews I've done? You know how many interviews I'm gonna continue to do? Who knows when there's going to be documentaries going on? This shit isn't going anywhere, man. 
Oh, there's so much tea. <laughs> so much tea to spill. <laughs> oh, well. And a customer. And then the second qualification is the company has to grow by five points after you. Here's what I want you guys to hear me right now is this. We have a one-legged comp plan. If you've been in like affiliate or network marketing, they talk about two teams, three teams, five teams, 10 teams, all these different legs. And they got to balance out and do all these things. Ours is very simple, very, very, very black and white. We have a one-legged jet stream, we call it. We have a one-legged jet stream, we call it. Oh my God. This is when I wish Marco was here when he had, we call it, we call it a one-legged jet stream, quite frankly. <laughs> Oh my God, I need to hear that. That would be so good. One-legged jet stream. It's not a pyramid scheme. It's a one-legged jet stream. <laughs> That's what we call it. <laughs> oh my God. This is the best part of this. It's a one-legged jet stream. Lavardi, nobody, the world hasn't seen anything like it. It's a one-legged jet stream. So when you enroll, <laughs> you go to the first spot at the very bottom of the jet stream. Now, everybody above you that signed up before you, which is about over a thousand people, when they put a sale in, those sales go below you, which helps you get quotes, which helps you qualify for these revenue. It goes quotes. below you in the jet stream, <laughs> one like a jet stream. Because it's it points after you enroll. Literally every day, there's almost 70 to 80 points a day coming into our company right now. If Literally, you guys, this is so exciting. I got to make this big so you can see because he has a little blue cursor and he's just winging it on these things. The first time I saw this, I, I wasn't, um, I didn't notice it. Like I'm noticing it now. It's funny. <laughs> you went out and got 30 points. Look like at him go. 30 days, That's his. There would be over a thousand points. That That's his cursor. That little blue dot here. Uh, this where I'm in, right? I'm going to actually follow him. I'm, this is, I'm going to gamify this. Let's see if I can follow, be as fast as DJ. Rolled after you with our company, just to give you an idea disappear. where you're coming in right now. So this is a true one team, now one dream gone. situation. How many of you have been to big company events in the past? And you wish those studs or studettes that were on the stage were for once in their lifetime in your business. Anybody thought like that before? Because I know I did. And guess what? With our company, that is the reality. Everybody helps everybody win. Of course, the cursor, he stops fucking around with the cursor as soon as I want to join in. And that's why our tagline is nobody is left behind. That's what we focus on. We want to- Except when you're playing a victim, he'll get to that. When, when we built this, I said, Jake, the biggest problem I want to figure out how to solve is the 65 year old gorilla in the home-based business industry. How many of you want to know what that is? Anybody want to know what that is? I'll tell you what that is. It's the failure rate. Nobody <laughs> See, it keeps getting better and better. It's the failure rate. It's the 65 year old gorilla in the room. I got to fix the failure rate because it's actually over 99% of people are guaranteed to lose in these frauds. It's kind of like, um, a wheel is round and it just rolls. You're not going to say the wheel is square when you can clearly see it's round. It just rolls. 99.999% of the time, it just rolls. It keeps rolling down the street. Same with these multi-level marketing companies, over 99.9% .9 of people. It's over 99.9% .9 of people. It's almost virtually 100% of people lose money. But you see all these people that are making money so you think, oh my God, this must be legitimate. All of these statistics must be incorrect. Nobody talks about it, but there's more people that fail than have success. And so we wanted to figure out- so Why is that, DJ? Because it's a pyramid scheme. Because these things, this is how the fraud works. What's wild to me is that you decided, you know what? I can't beat it, so I'm going to gamify it. I'm going to become the, the game. Figure out how to solve that. Now, I know and you know, you have to bring worth at work ethic, desire, stick to itiveness. You have to do the deal. However, is that why you decided to not bring all those qualities to happy travel and instead start your own multi level marketing company because you failed at that? You were unable to to do that. You didn't have the stick with itiveness at all. You were just unhappy. Well, I think that you were inconsistent and you things were happening for you and not to you, DJ. I think this is a cop out. That's what I think. I think this is a bunch of victim blaming um, excuses, excuse making for you. But if you have the best- Sounds like you're acting like a victim right now. Track to run on, you're gonna be in the best position to win. Wouldn't you agree? So let me put this into perspective. Let's talk about pool six, because this is where you can get to a full-time income. The cursor's back. Pool six, you need 30 points. That could be 30 sales at the coach level or eight sales at the Lux level because of the points or anywhere in between. Once you do that, you're qualified for pool six. Once we grow by a thousand new points after you, here's what I need you to hear or understand. When you're in pool six, you're getting paid <laughs> in every pool prior to that pool. So you're collecting 
checks all the way up in every pool. Drop a five if that made sense for you. Now, let's have some fun, though. Why you drop a Drop a five if it makes sense. I was good there. I was on this cursor that time. Five fives, all right? Let's say, because we're new. We're not doing this yet, by the way. Full disclosure. We're not doing a million a month in revenue, but that's to me is the pinnacle of where we need to get to, to get this thing from a million to five. So we're not, we haven't even launched yet and we're not doing a million dollars in sales or whatever right now, but let's just say it is because now I want to cast the vision for you. So this isn't rooted in fact or reality. This is just re wishful thinking. And oddly enough, this is a lot what scammers do. They like to just like say, just think about the opportunity here. Now, full disclosure, Full disclosure, it's not a million dollars, but I'm going to put this presentation as if it is a million dollars. And that way I can say, I didn't mislead anyone at all. But you are misleading people because this is a manipulative tactic that commercial cults use. I wonder if Happy Travel used this same nonsense. Let's, I hope your cursor comes back. Five million a month, okay? But let's just fast forward and pretend for a moment we're doing a million a month, all right? That means we would take 3% of a million, which is 30 grand, 30K, and we would deposit 30K in each of 11 pools. 30 times 11 <laughs> is $333,000, all right? Now, however many people are in the pool, that's how the money's divided. So if there was 200 people in pool one, the 30 grand would be divided by 200 people. Oh. If there's 100 in pool two, that 30 grand would be divided by 100 people. If there's 50 in pool three, it'd be divided equally. If there was only five of us or six of us, in pool six, divided equally. If there were two in you in pool seven, guess what? You get both. You, you if there's only a few people at the top of the pyramid scheme, guess what? Only those people, the very few, very few people at the very, very top, which is like 0.001%, <laughs> they get all that money. Isn't it amazing? I'm glad that you um, addressed the 65 year old gorilla in the room. Totally has revolutionized everything. Divide that in half. If you are the first person to hit pool eight, that 30 grand is all yours. Do what you will. I want you to understand the more, the higher up the pools you go, the less saturated it's going to be, but also the more people. Can you believe this? The higher up you go, the less saturated it's going to be. We started this um, company. It's got some kinks in it. It's, and it's working flawlessly. We wanted to address the 65 year old gorilla in the room and the failure rate and the higher up you go, the less saturated it's, it's going to be. You can't make this shit up. They say what they're doing right in front of you. You know, it's just brutal. People that get in the pools, the more revenues come. Literally describing a pyramid scheme. And in, the more revenues coming in, the more we get to pay out. Drop a two if that made sense. <laughs> now for the builders, the leaders, the people that really want to you know, plant their Lavardi flag and help us take this thing to the our 10-year goal, which is a million users. Um, a 10-year goal of a million users? Sounds like some pretty high aspirations. It sounds like you've got high hopes. You had to have high, high hopes. <laughs> DJ had high, high hopes for happy travel. Now he's got it for Lavardi. That's where the third qualification is going to come in. This is lineage. To get to pool seven, eight, nine, and 10, yes, you need personals. Yes, you need company growth. Whoa, but then you also go. have to have what we call duplication. You can get the first six pools just getting customers only. That's the best part about you can get the first six levels by getting customers only. Here we go. This comp plan is you can literally make a full-time income without building a team, which is amazing. That's what we wanted to accomplish. With That's what we are trying to make ourselves like a look like a legitimate business. So we're definitely not a pyramid scheme here because you can do that. This business model. But for those of you that want to go build and run and create. But for those of you that want to build and run, which is going to be shown at this um convention their their large group awareness training with marcus seta they're going to be saying if you want congratulations everyone give yourself a big round of applause you believe in yourself there's many people that could have been here and they decided not to but you chose to believe in yourself so everyone give yourself a big round of applause who's here from canada who's here from australia wow big it's going to follow the same playbook those like thumping music I can't wait to introduce our next guest speaker. He's been my employer. He's been my mentor. Just this amazing, everybody, I doesn't even need no, any in, in, introduction. Next guest, bleh, same bullshit. And here we're about to launch into it. They're going to, they're going to come out and they're going to say for you to really take, you know, you want to build um, generational wealth. 
you need to recruit, you need to sponsor. You always have to recruit. We don't have to recruit. It's operating, it's got some kinks and it's operating flawlessly. You can make money, a full-time income, just selling products. You don't have to recruit. We don't tell you you have to recruit as his little cursor's like winging all over the <laughs> all over the freaking screen. I think by now you can see um, how many red flags there are. And Create a legacy where it's sellable, transferable, willable to everybody you care about. You wanna strive for seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that's the third requirement is team qualification points. For those of you that don't know what team qualification points, that's people who you introduce, who they introduce, who they introduce. That's not Incorrect. So this is also a lie. This isn't just about introduction. So an introduction would be, would be like, hi, um, hi, my name's Julie. This is DJ Barton. That's an introduction. So it's like, oh, hi, this is, um, hi, I am, uh, my name is Julie, and this is DJ. DJ, I'd like you to take a look at this book. It's called uh, Cults Inside Out. And just like that, I've duplicated and I have made all this money and I'm up to rank seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that what you're saying? No, no, because that's an intro introduce introduction is just that. But what you mean is recruiting, enrolling, sponsoring. They need to sign up for a membership. They need to pay an activation fee and they have to keep those memberships current. So when people are trying to describe, they're trying to hide what they're trying to sell you and use other words for what they're trying to do, it's, it's a huge red flag. He cannot, he needs to deceive you. He can't say what he's doing. He can't say that you have to recruit people and they have to sign up for memberships. He has to say that you're just introducing it, but that's a lie. You're not just introducing it. You need to get money from these people and you need to keep continuing to get money from these people. Even more than that, they also have to recruit people into it, not just introduce. This is very important. This isn't how businesses are run, not through this deception. This is how multi-level marketing goes. They need, they rely on deception. And interestingly enough, this is how cults run. Destructive cults. They need deception in order to recruit. I'll tell you, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Uber, they never had to play games like this. They never had to use words like we're going to introduce people. No, they say we're going to give you a ride. <laughs> they don't have to try to find another word to hide what they're actually doing to convince you that this is legitimate. Nothing to do with outside of people in the company. All right. And then when you do get to pool seven through 10, we, re we, we recognize you, we glorify you, and we give you pay increases. Uh like every other multi-level marketing company, the top keeps getting more and more money all these bonuses and we pay you a check match from anywhere from one to five percent so let me put that in perspective if you went out and brought in 50 people like there's people on here that have already done that and well, because you're in pre-launch you're enrolling people it's like this sounds an awful lot like a pyramid scheme because there are no retail sales there are literally no retail sales right now is there how can there be if you're not in you haven't launched your company yet how is it that people are in the company ranking up when you haven't launched the company it sounds like you've launched the company and you've just given it this arbitrary designation called pre-launch. That's what it sounds like to me. This sounds like some weird fucking loophole that multi-level marketing companies take advantage of all the time just to maximize making as much money as they can before the inevitable scrutiny starts to grow and hone in like a Hawkeye, like a baby doll Hawkeye. <laughs> Out of the 50, 10 of them, you help go make five grand a month. We're going to pay you one to 5% of that five grand a month. There's no limit to how many people you can introduce. All you have to do is get them pool qualified. And then we, we take care of you financially. We take care of them financially. And the rest is history. So we're very excited about what we have our hands on here at Lavardi, as you can imagine, with what we're doing. And we're disrupting what I call the gig economy. Our comp plan's never been done with all three components. Our product hasn't been. No, but there's some components where it looks an awful lot like happy travel. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something tells me you're not being totally transparent, DJ. <laughs> done with all the components we're rolling out, all the tool systems, support, leadership, and it's never been done. I do want to point out uh, three last quick minute things here before we switch gears. Number one, we're debt free. What does that mean to you? Well, most startups. Uh, go out, I don't know if you've heard this, but 90% of startups go out of business before they get out of the gate, basically. And it's not because they don't have the right mindset, the right teams, the right product, the right comp plan. It's because they run out of what? Money. Okay. I want you to I, I hate when people do this, when they try to act, like get you 
to fill in their sentence. It's always irritated me, even when I was a kid. This is one thing I fucking can't stand. I find it so annoying and so egotistical. Like someone's strutting around up there. Like just say what you have to say. You don't need to fill in the blank. What is it now? Like who fucking talks like that? The most annoying people talk like that. Think about it. Wouldn't you agree? Anybody that you've ever seen that does any of that shit, they're the most annoying prick that you've ever come across. Because the average person doesn't fucking talk like this. <laughs> you guys to know we're debt free. We didn't borrow one dime to start this thing. We've got. Uh what do you want? You want a pat on the back for doing the bare minimum? Woohoo. You opened up a company and you're not debt free and I'm supposed to be excited. This is supposed to be a selling feature. Why is this? Why is this so important? What's in it for me? You forgot that training DJ. Everybody's tuned in to the WIIFM radio. What's in it for me? You're not in debt. Well, everybody else is going to be starting to go in debt when they sign up for this. Be like, oh, but I'm really saving money on these pharmaceutical drugs that I'm purchasing $1,300 a year of. What if you're not? What if you don't have any purchases like that? Uh, seven figures in reserves. Okay. And, uh, what are you trying to, co to convince there? <laughs> Isn't this weird? You need to disclose that. I wonder if that's true. You have seven figures in reserves, in the reserves of the pockets of the co-founders who we don't know their names. What the fuck is going on with Lavardi? From September 18th till present, we have not had to go back to the well to run the company out of our reserves. We've self-funded it and self-ran it since day one because why is this supposed to be impressive? Oh, because multi-level marketing has such a stench on it. <laughs> because people um, that open up these multi-level marketing companies have very interesting histories and their behavior that is well documented shows these interesting histories. We're very good with our money and we have the right team in place to help us do that. So that's a very important thing for you to hear and understand. The second to the last thing I want to talk about is our foundation, because let's face it, no matter how many vacations you go on, uh, how many destinations you see, how much money you, you make, um, at the end of the day, unless there's a purpose following it, it's kind of irrelevant for most of us. And so we created the Lavardi. What do you think he's going to say here? I was like, what the fuck is he building up to the first time I watched? This is he's going to be introducing the charity. This is just this is this gets weird. It's like, no, people just want to go on vacation. I don't need this weird cultic um, tie-in with charity. But every multi-level marketing company does this because they need to virtue signal, but it's the most disgusting way of virtue signaling. A lot of multi-level marketing companies like to use human trafficking um, charities to like um, cover up what they're, what they're actually doing. So instead of, um, they say, but we're legitimate because we donate this much money to human trafficking. Therefore, what we're doing can't is really good. You're actually against human, you're against helping victims of human trafficking if you don't support my multi-level marketing company. So you can have a criminal donating money to a charity. And if you say, hey, you're a criminal, you're like, you're the criminal because I'm giving money to a charity. That's how absurd this is. Live it List Foundation. How many of you are familiar with Make-A-Wish Foundation? Anybody on here? Um, for those of you that are not, Make-A-Wish takes terminally ill kids and makes their dream come true to meet their favorite athlete, movie star, whatever the case might be. We took the same concept, but we did it for adults. And what we're doing is we're searching out adults that are terminally ill, that have- Wow, you're looking for the most vulnerable people to exploit. Because you're going to use their story and you're going to give their information and their image to all of your participants, which will be plastered all over social media. And you'll say, look at how good Lavardi is. This man, this father of three is dying. And thank God for Lavardi, for me exploiting and recruiting people into this pyramid scheme so we could send him on a trip to fucking Brazil. Are you kidding me? This is disgusting. Kids that haven't done the things they desired, like a bucket list iconic vacation, um, the parents are doing everything right. They're not complaining. They're not playing victim. They're not playing woes me. They're so you're going to look for adults who are terminally ill, terminally ill, and you're going to have a scorecard. Are you um, playing the victim? No. Um, are you playing woe is me? Oh, no. What does that look like? 
DJ, I'd like you to expand on that. What does it like playing a victim mean? I know what it means in multi-level marketing. Is somebody standing up to you and calling out exactly all this bullshit that you're doing? I think it's really disgusting that you're seeking out adults who are terminally ill and then are going to offer some kind of thing. Are they going to have to sign an NDA too? Like you had all your participants do so they couldn't talk about this like incredible business opportunity that's launching this weekend. How fucking weird is that? Why would anybody need to sign an NDA unless you're fucking scared and you're worried that people are going to start talking? It's kind of weird. I was already tipped off about this thing. <laughs> Don't you think? Wouldn't you agree? So you're going to seek out terminally ill adults. You're already having this, um, you're coming in with this abuser mindset. So what I like to do is I like to work with people who, who aren't abusers. There's, um, you like to talk about the victim mindset. I like to talk about the abuser mindset. The abuser mindset that is evidenced so well um, as people in multi-level marketing. And especially people who run multi-level marketing companies by using language like this, by talking about people who are terminally ill, that are adults that maybe haven't um, want to have things that they want to see in their life before they pass away. And you're already saying, well, they're doing things right. They're not acting like the victim. They're not playing woe is me. You think this makes you show up powerfully? This makes you sound like you have an abuser mindset. That's what it sounds like to me, DJ. You could like add that to your repertoire. Working their jobs, they're going to church, they're giving back to their community. They're givers, they're not takers. I call them batteries, not vacuums, right? They're doing everything right. You call them the, the terminally ill adults who um, they're givers and not takers. The terminally ill adults that you're going to like waltz into their life and give them money to go on a trip and they're gonna have to be grateful to you. And have to be like, I'm so happy and grateful. And thank you to DJ Barton and his incredible company called Lavardi for sending me and my family on this trip to Brazil. And I have like prostate cancer and I only have two months left. Oh, fuck. That's going to be amazing. I can't wait for you to be plastering that all over social media and using that person's family and their story and their um, diagnosis and then their death. You're going to just market the shit out of that. Oh, you can feel so good about yourself. And all your participants are going to be like, I feel really wrong about this. And you're going to say, well, you have a victim mindset. Were you doing everything right? Did you go to church? What church do they have to go to? Is it Christianity? Because there's no other faith except this weird, like twisted version of Christianity that is multi-level marketing specific. And my goodness, I feel sorry for people of faith who get, who see this shit going on, you know? Right. And we're going to find those families. They don't have to just be in America. They can be all over the world. And we're going to send those families every single year, as many as we can, based upon the foundation raise uh, on a bucket list uh, vacation. And we're going to send a host. We're going to put money in their pockets so they don't spend. We've got to be terminally ill adults and they have to not be victims and not have woe is me and not be uh, don't not be a vacuum and but be a battery. Are they also going to have to enroll in Lavardi? Do you think maybe they have to like just come in at the the basic membership. How generous. Wow. What a generous. It's just like, it sounds like you're such like a giver that you have all these strings attached to just giving. One dime of their own money. We're going to send our first families off at the end of September of 2024, which we're excited about. The more money we raise, the more we can give out, which is amazing. And um, I don't know, we're pretty excited about that. And, and just know uh, our affiliate fee is only $50 a year. We take a percentage of that, plus all the fundraisers. We're going to put some things on our website where people can donate and all the different things that we're going to do. Company will do some matching programs and stuff. So we've got it dialed in. We're creating a movement. If you've ever been stuck, you've ever been out of place, this is uh, the place for mischiefs, as I would say. And this is the place where you- Are you trying to say misfits? Mischiefs? You get up to mischief. You need to put a sign behind you there. It's mischievous or misfits or mischief. You get, you get up to mischief. Call home, plant your flag and go build as small or as big as you want. And everything we're doing is with the right intentions. Plant the red flag. <laughs> and uh, this is where traditional marketing definitely meets affiliate marketing. I will give you one little mumble a week from Saturday. We're going to roll. A mumble is from Ray Higdon. This is what we were taught in Rank Makers. He would call it a high profit mumble. So for him saying this, he's already like fucked it up. So you're not supposed to say this, DJ. This is so stupid.
this whole presentation is so stupid. I can't even believe that like they okayed for you to like let this go. This could have been so much more powerful. You're really playing small DJ. So when you do a mumble, you're not announcing it. You're supposed to just like slip in a little bit of information where it could, which this sounds so stupid and you you see it, it's quite obvious. But we're in, when we're in multi-level marketing, we learn shit like this and we think like, oh my God, I'm such a marketer now. <laughs> People aren't gonna realize what I'm doing at all. But you're supposed to just casually say, like embed in whatever you're talking about in the live video or a Zoom presentation or whatever YouTube video, something that you want like people to know about. But you'll be like, oh yeah, like my girl Sally was just with us at our last convention and she said like, thank goodness she showed up because uh, she earned another $1,000 a month just for showing up at this convention. But back to what I was saying, blah, 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 blah. And so the whole point of this is to be that people that are interested will be like, well, tell me about your girl, Sally, that went to this convention. What's this convention? Like, this is what really is going to happen, right? <laughs> We're all busy taking notes like, oh, fuck, I can't wait to integrate this. And when I make my live videos, all these people are going to sign up. And then um, if people aren't interested, they won't even notice because it's supposed to be like um, unobtrusive. It's just like, well... I don't really care, but those that are interested are supposed to like really like their ears perk up and they think, oh, I need to have more information on this. The whole point of doing a mumble isn't to announce that you're doing a mumble. Jesus Christ, DJ, didn't you learn any of this in the 14 day challenge? It's like when you'd be given the task of doing a CTA delay, call to action. You don't say I'm going to do a call to action. You do the call to action. I should open up a, a multi-level marketing company. Well, actually I am the high altitude potato MLM. <laughs> <laughs> roll out a product that um, will allow you imagine this imagine having your own booking engine that you can literally mass market to your database and social media drive traffic for them to create a free customer account and when they create that free customer account to go book their travel they get a better imagine you drive it to your database who the fuck on here even has a database give me a break you're you're trying to get people who don't know anything about anything diddly squat maybe they've been around multi-level marketing one to another to another but this is just to impress them you're going to market to your database really <laughs> price than they would publicly but you get a let's play businessman i'm the businessman i'm going to market to my database i hustle grind and execute i don't have any click funnels records behind me but fuck you <laughs> i'm an mlm business owner uh. <laughs> oh no i went I, st I was happy clicking again Shit. I'm doing live demos of, di of different bucket list places you would want to go or you travel to for work or kids sports or whatever it might be. Let us show you the benefits of the daily deals. Let us show you the savings on what we have going on. But you can get with the person that invited you on here and do that uh, with them or your leader and uh, or their leader rather and get your questions or uh, an answer because I will tell you, it's like real estate. Time means everything. And we get in now. Don't think. I don't know where I paused it, but I mean, really, we're almost at the end of this and I'm sick and tired of listening to him go on. <laughs> I bet you are too. <laughs> No, if you go into a master plan community and buy one of the first houses versus one of the last houses, you're going to get a lot. So is this like real estate, DJ? Is this like me buying a house in a certain area? Or is this like Microsoft, Spotify, or Uber? I'm confused. Can you expand on exactly how this is the same as being in a garage planning Microsoft launching as a startup and I'm sitting on an upside down five gallon pail and probably my sleeves are rolled up well, with all my buds. We're going to be entrepreneurs. Or is this you're operating Uber or you're like DoorDash or you're looking for a side hustle or it's like you're um, listening to Spotify what, or am I buying a house? I'm so confused. I'm just at the cutting edge of everything, this disruption of the industry. So timing is everything we need to get in right now. What about all the people that got in at pre-launch? Do you think they had a benefit? Do you think that they were told you're getting in at pre-launch, you're going to beat everybody else? Or were are they given, or we're given the same script they are? But clearly they have had this advantage since at least September 2023. They've already ranked up. You said there was already what 309 checks like how is this how is timing everything i think that i think that ship has sailed wouldn't you agree better value on the first houses than you are in the last houses would you agree with that statement and that's it you come in now it's already too late you're already in this is it the, the winners are already there they're just going to keep ranking up anybody that you get in now you're going to be signing up with the person who brought you in you're already below them and they're below someone else 
And, uh, and so just know that 100% uh, of the people that join Lavardi after you make your decision to join tonight, financially reward you for the rest of your life that you participate in this. So I- uh, What kind of claim is that? They will financially reward you as long as you participate in that 100, oh fuck. 100, per, that is the stupidest guarantee I've ever heard. Well, no, it's not one I've ever heard. It's just yet another one that has, it's just stupid. <laughs> A hundred percent. You just shouldn't have said anything. Appreciate you guys tuning in. If you're a guest, you can hang out. If you're a guest and you don't want to hang out, you can exit stage left or right. And I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the recording here. I've got to bring on our uh, our partner in crime here. That's the end of the video. All right. So thanks for bearing with me and thank you for the people that had um, asked me to cover this. And I had seen somebody had left a comment on one of my videos too talking about this company and I was like that's weird hmm, I know this guy I know who this guy is so um yeah don't join Lavardi. this is um clearly uh, so many red flags about it DJ has been in multi-level marketing for oh god who knows how many years he was in uh rank makers as a coach before I even joined um and didn't work for him he was uh, recording his clients coaching calls as were all the coaches told to do and a lot of those um, coaching clients didn't know that their private conversations were being recorded and he was with happy travel and now he's here so he had no problem taking over um, copying and pasting what appears to me um, happy travels compensation plan or ranking structure or whatever and then you know just doing the exact same thing with Lavardi Travel and then having this stupid thing with three circles. Oh, no, we're going to be paying out this founder pools. It doesn't matter. It's like you have, um, you put lipstick on a pig, it's still a pig. It doesn't matter the shade of lipstick. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. What if? Such a powerful question to ask. Such a powerful question to ponder. What if you didn't overthink it, you just took the leap and you joined a commercial cult? You could forego grad school thinking that you are creating a career level income through building this business and instead waste seven years of your life doing unpaid labor and beating yourself up for not succeeding in a scam designed for you to fail. What if you got stuck in a three year lease making payments on an expensive car that you were promised would be social proof that this business works despite the fact that 99% of people fail? You could end up the top 0.68% of your multi-level marketing company only to realize that the most money you ever earned in a year was just under $13,000 Canadian. And that was before expenses. You could forget all of your previous dreams, shit on people with actual jobs, come to believe that this mission is the only way to succeed in life and believe that all of your family and friends are haters because they refuse to support your business. You could lose all your friends because you've been trained to exploit them at their most vulnerable seasons of life. You could leave, be a part of a pyramid scheme investigation against them, be in a documentary about them, and then start a podcast where you help others with your platform tell their stories too. You could dedicate 13 years of your life to relationships and a network marketing business that ends up leaving you with no idea who you are and realizing that they were making money off of the training system the entire time that you were in without telling you. What if you spent a fortune being a product of the product, knowing that nothing in your health had actually changed, hoping to achieve the dream? You could leave and write a tell-all book about your experience instead. You could buy into the belief that by joining this personal development group, you'd be changing the world. And then suddenly it's 12 years later and you're getting branded with the leader's initials without anesthetic. And then you learn it was actually a pyramid scheme slash MLM blackmail sex cult. So you blow the whistle on the cover of the New York Times and work with the FBI to get the leader in jail for 120 years.